Hello! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to design a cartoon character from scratch. Join me on this exciting journey as we create a unique character together. Let's get started. Select the cube and press Ctrl plus 2 to subdivide it. Use Shift plus D to duplicate. Move the duplicated cube down and forward by pressing G and using the middle mouse button to adjust its position. Adjust the size of the duplicated cube using S for scaling. Right-click and select Shade Smooth to give it a smooth appearance. Press Shift plus D to duplicate the cube. Move and scale the cube to position it in the nose area. Duplicate another cube for the ear by pressing Shift plus D. Press Shift plus A to add a cylinder. Move the cylinder to the appropriate position for the character's neck. Duplicate the ear by pressing Shift plus D and move it to the eye area. Add a mirror modifier. In the mirror modifier settings, select the mirror object option and sample the nose as the mirror object. Duplicate the cube used for the mouth and move it to the desired position to start shaping the character's body. Click on the apply button to apply the subdivision surface modifier permanently to the mesh. Enter sculpt mode by pressing tab. Select the grab brush and enable symmetry for symmetrical editing. Adjust the brush radius by right-clicking and selecting the desired size. Have fun shaping the character's body by moving the points around using the grab brush. Duplicate the head cube and scale it down by pressing Shift plus D and then using S for scaling. Press G to move the scaled head cube to the appropriate position. Press Tab to switch to edit mode. Press the slash to isolate the cube, making it easier to work with. Press the 3 key to select face mode. Select the faces in the middle and press X to delete them. Press the slash key again to exit the isolate mode. Go back to sculpt mode by pressing tab and have fun shaping the points further. Select the ear. In the properties panel on the right side of the screen, click on the modifiers tab. Click on the apply button to apply the subdivision surface modifier permanently to the mesh. Add a mirror modifier to the ear. In the mirror modifier settings, sample the nose as the mirror object for symmetry. Select the hairline and enter edit mode by pressing tab. Press A to select all the faces. Go to the UV menu and choose unwrap. Exit edit mode by pressing tab to go back to object mode. Press shift plus a curve and select fur for the character's hair. Select the mouth. Press tab going to edit mode. Press slash to isolate the cube. Press 3 to select face mode. Select the faces in the middle and press X to delete them. Press slash to get out of isolate. Go to sculpt mode by pressing tab. Enable symmetry for symmetrical editing. Have fun by moving points around. Press tab to switch to object mode. Press shift plus a curve and select fur for the character's beard. Go to the editor type menu and select asset browser. Select curl hair curves. And drag and place it onto the head. Select the hair and adjust some settings to test the look of the hair. Hide the hair curves. Select the ear. Press tab to enter edit mode. Select the faces in the middle of the ear. Press E to extrude the selected faces. Press Ctrl plus R to create edge loops. Select the face and press E to extrude. Press Tab to switch to object mode. Select both the ears and the head by holding down Shift and clicking on each object. Press Ctrl plus A and choose Visual Geometry to mesh from the menu. This action will apply the subdivision modifier to the selected objects. Press Ctrl plus J to join the selected objects together. Select the eyes and apply the subdivision modifier. Duplicate the eyes by pressing Shift plus D. Press Tab to enter edit mode. Press Alt plus C to enable X-ray mode, allowing you to see through the mesh. Select the lower faces and press X to delete them. Press 2 to enter edge mode. Double-click to select the edge loop. Press S, Z, and 0 to scale the selected edge loop to 0 in the Z axis, flattening it. 
press tab to go back to object mode. Add a solidify modifier to the eyes and adjust the thickness to achieve the desired look. Press shift plus D to duplicate the eye socket. Rotate the duplicated eye socket 180 degrees. Press Alt plus C to enable X-ray mode. Press Tab to enter Edit mode. Select the top faces and press X to delete them. Press 2 to enter Edge mode. Double-click to select the edge loop. Press S, Z, and 0 to scale the selected edge loop to 0 in the Z-axis, flattening it. Press Tab to go back to Object mode. Select the head and press Tab to enter Sculpt mode. Enable Symmetry for symmetrical editing. Make adjustments to the head by moving the points around using the grab brush. Press Tab to exit Sculpt mode and return to Object mode. Select the nose and press Tab to enter Sculpt mode. Enable Symmetry for symmetrical editing. Make adjustments to the nose by moving the points around using the grab brush. Apply the subdivision modifier to the nose. Show the hair curves. Press Tab to exit Sculpt mode and return to Object mode. Select the eye socket and rotate it slightly to the desired position. Select the head and press Ctrl plus 2 to subdivide it. Apply the subdivision modifier to the head. Press Tab to enter Edit mode. Use the Select Lasso tool to select the faces that make up the eyebrows. Press Shift plus D to duplicate the selected faces. Press P to separate the duplicated faces as a separate object. Press Tab to exit Edit mode and return to Object mode. Select the eyebrows and apply the mirror modifier to achieve symmetry. Go to UV editing mode. Press A to select all the faces. Go to the UV menu and choose Unwrap to unwrap the UVs of the eyebrows. Press Tab to exit edit mode. Press Shift plus A to add a curve and select Fur to create the character's eyebrows. Adjust the settings of the fur curve as desired. Enter Sculpt mode by pressing Tab. Enable Symmetry for symmetrical editing. Use the Comb tool to brush and shape the eyebrows. Press the Display Render View button to test the overall look of the character. Go to the Render Properties panel. Change the Render Engine to Cycles. If your computer supports it, change the device to CPU for faster preview rendering. Select the eye socket and enter Edit mode by pressing Tab. Select all the faces in the area of the eyelashes. Press Shift plus D to duplicate the selected faces. Press P to separate the duplicated faces as a separate object. Go back to Object mode and select the model of the eyelashes. Press forward slash to isolate the selected object. Go to the Modifier Properties and delete the Solidify modifier. Enter Edit Mode and press Ctrl plus R to insert an edge loop and slide it down. Select all the top faces and delete them by pressing X. Press Tab to exit Edit Mode. Press Slash to exit Isolate Mode. Apply the Mirror Modifier. Go to UV Editing Mode. Press A to select all the faces. Go to the UV menu and choose Unwrap to unwrap the UVs of the eyelashes. Press Tab to exit Edit Mode. Press Shift plus A to add a curve and select Fur to create the character's eyelashes. Adjust the settings of the fur curve as desired. Enter Sculpt mode by pressing Tab. Enable Symmetry for symmetrical editing. Brush and shape the eyelashes.
Press the Display Render View button to test the overall look of the character. Select the material and change the color. Select all the models of the face and assign a new material. Change the color and press Ctrl plus L to link materials. Press Ctrl plus 1 to apply the subdivision surface modifier. Open the asset browser. Drag and drop the duplicate curves onto the existing hair to create more hair strands. After fine-tuning the hair, I have achieved the final desired result. I have also made necessary modifications in the modifier panel to attain the desired appearance. Feel free to pause the video and replicate the settings for your own purposes. To customize the hair color, adjust the color settings in the material properties according to your preference. Enable Denoise in the viewport by going to the Render Properties panel and turning on the Denoise option. This will enhance the visual quality and improve the look of the scene in the viewport. Press 1 to go to front view. To start modeling the glasses, press Shift plus A and add a torus. Adjust the torus settings to achieve the desired look for the glasses. Move the torus to the desired position. Add a mirror modifier to create the other half of the glasses. Add another torus. Move it to the desired position. Enter edit mode by pressing tab. Press alt plus C to enable x-ray mode. Press 3 to switch to face selection mode. Select the unnecessary faces and delete them by pressing X. Move the torus to the desired position. Press Shift plus A to add a cube. Scale down the cube and move it to the desired position. Add a mirror modifier. Select the cylinder and go to edit mode by pressing tab. Press 2 to switch to edge selection mode. Select the middle loop by double clicking on one of the edges. Right click and choose fill to fill the selected loop. Press P to separate the selected faces as a separate object. Apply materials to the glasses. Adjust the material properties to achieve the desired appearance. Press Shift plus A to add a UV sphere to the scene. This will provide a nice render preview of the object. Enter edit mode by pressing tab. Delete the top faces of the UV sphere. Go back to object mode. Scale and rotate the remaining faces to achieve different lighting blocking effects or desired visual variations. Press Z to switch to the render view.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future updates. Your support is greatly appreciated.